Imagine you are meeting the CEO of a huge company, someone like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos. You find them incredibly charming, attentive, and down-to-earth. They make you feel important and part of their inner circle. This is how people felt when they first met Joseph Stalin, who ruled the Soviet Union many years ago. He would listen intently to people, making them feel like their opinions mattered. He was also quite entertaining, singing and telling jokes that made everyone laugh. People admired him for being a regular person they could relate to, and it wasn't long before he gained complete control over the country. However, as time passed, a darker side of Stalin emerged. He began to feel threatened by those close to him, like his friend Sergei Kirov, who was becoming too popular for Stalin's liking. Even though Kirov remained loyal, Stalin started to treat him coldly, and eventually, Kirov was mysteriously assassinated. Soon, many of Stalin's close friends found themselves arrested and tortured. Stalin seemed to enjoy hearing about their suffering and humiliation. He would also speak of himself in the third person, as if he was a flawless, larger-than-life figure. His name and image were everywhere, and people had to be careful not to contradict or correct him, as doing so could be dangerous. As war with Germany loomed, Stalin took charge of every detail of the Soviet Union's military efforts. His generals struggled to please him, as he would become angry if they disagreed with him, but also if they were too agreeable. He dismissed his most capable generals, and his lieutenants had to learn how to read his moods and whims to survive. During this time, Stalin would invite his top officials to dinner parties at his home. These events were like a nightmare, as they had to drink heavily, knowing that Stalin was watching their every move, waiting for them to slip up. He would even make them dance together, laughing as he controlled their every action. This story of Stalin shows how a once charming and relatable person can turn into a complete controlling narcissist and manipulative leader using fear and intimidation to keep those around him in check. Let's interpret complete control narcissist. These types of people are usually really ambitious and insecure. They want to be important and they want others to like them. So they learn how to read people and figure out what they want. They might act like they care about you, but really, they're just trying to find out what they can use to control you. It's not that they don't feel anything for others, they do but they don't let those feelings grow into anything real because that would make them vulnerable. Instead, they act all friendly and then pull away, making you wonder what you did wrong and how to get back in their good graces. They're like those flirty types that always keep you guessing. It's all about control for these folks. They control their feelings and they control how you react to them. But as they gain more power, they start to get annoyed that they even have to pretend to care about others. That's when they might turn against people who used to be their friends, showing their true colors. Eventually, they might try to control everything and everyone around them. But people don't like being controlled, so they might fight back or just stop caring. It's said that when the famous leader Stalin got really sick, nobody dared to help him, and he ended up dying because of it. You might run into someone like this in your life, maybe as your boss, a political leader, or even a friend. The key is to watch for the signs, fake interest in you, a lack of deep relationships, and maybe even a difficult past. Listen to people who know the truth about them and try to stay away if you can. Like a wild tiger, if you get too close, you might not be able to escape. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends and family.